morning. Good morning. I'm Amita. I'm Napisa. And I'm Ramita. And we're, we're the, the Dino, Dino Squad. We're from Satit Gazette International Program. Hi. What's your name? I'm Sid. Can you roar? Of course. Croak. <coughs> hey. Aren't you a dinosaur? Why can't you roar? Well, it's a long story, and I'll name it the dinosaur who've lost his war. Hmm, interesting. This is a story about five dinosaurs. Sid, Spike, Ross, Ollie, and Rex. Sid lived in the middle of a big forest. He liked living in forests. He liked crashing through bushes. Woohoo! He liked climbing, climbing tall trees. And he Yippee. liked splashing in the river. But hey, um, are you having fun? Of course. But most of all, Sid likes scaring other dinosaurs. Roar! Yikes! Whoa! He had the loudest roar of all. <gasps> One day, Sid went for a walk. He saw Spike, but Spike didn't see him. Spike was picking berries. Mmm, this looks juicy. I don't want to eat that. May I have some? Sure. No, no, let's continue the story. Fine. <laughs> Sid crept up behind Spike and, and gave, gave a roar. Splat! Spike got covered in squashy Ew. berries. Ha <laughs> ha! Laughed Sid. That's not funny, Sid, said Spike. Sid just grinned and stomped on his way. Ross was catching fish. Come here, little fishies. Sid crept, crept up, up behind, behind Ross, Ross and gave a roar. <gasps> Splash! Ross fell into the water. Ha <laughs> ha, laughed Sid. That's not funny, Sid, said Ross. <laughs> Sid just grinned and stomped on his way. Hee <laughs> hee. Ollie was collecting eggs for dinner. I'll have fried eggs for tonight. Hmm, but can dinosaurs actually eat fried eggs? <laughs> not really. <laughs> Sid crept up behind Ollie and, and gave a roar. Crack! Eggs went, went everywhere! Ha <laughs> ha! Laughed Sid. That's not funny, Sid, said Ollie. Sid just grinned and stomped on his way. Ha ho! When Sid got home, his throat hurt. <coughs> Are you okay? <laughs> the next day, Sid went for a walk. He saw a spy picking berries. Sid crept up behind Spike and gave a croak. <coughs> Spike laughed. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid went red in the face and tiptoed away. Sid came to the river. Ross was fishing. Sid's throat hurt, but he still wanted to roar. Are you sure you're doing this? Uh-huh. Okay. He crept up behind Ross and gave a... Oh, Ross is over there. Oops. I'm Ross. And gave a... Roar! Ross, Ross laughed. laughed. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid, Sid went, went red in the face and tiptoed away. away. Sid came to the tall trees. Ollie was collecting eggs. Sid's throat still hurt, <coughs> but, but he wanted to roar. Sid crept up behind Ollie and gave a croak. <coughs> Ollie laughed. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. 
it went, went red, red and, and ran, ran all, all the way, way home. Seth didn't like being laughed at. It, it felt, felt bad. He didn't like having a sore throat either. <laughs> so he ate a spoonful of honey, drank some warm water, and, and went, went to bed. bed. The next day, Sid's throat was better. Yay! He decided to visit Spike, Ross, and Ollie. I'll say sorry, sorry for scaring them. He thought, hmm, then we can be friends. Sid went to the berry bushes, but Spike wasn't there. That's odd. He went to the river. Ross wasn't there. That's funny. He went to the tall trees, but, but Ollie wasn't there. That's strange, don't you think? Sid saw some footprints. They were at the bushes in the river too. They weren't spikes. Too long. They weren't losses. Too wide. And they weren't Ollie. Too deep. Sid followed the footprints. The footprints led to... A, a huge dinosaur called Rex. Rex. P -p -p Please don't eat us, Rex. Rex has taken Spike, Ross, and Ollie home for dinner. Oh, no. Sid wanted to scare Rex. But, but did, did he, he have, have a roar? roar? There was only one way to find out. Sid crept up behind Rex. He gave the biggest, strongest, loudest roar. Whoa! Rex was terrified. He ran off and didn't look back. Three cheers for Sid. Hooray, hooray, hooray for Sid. His mighty roar saved us from that dinosaur. The end. Back to reality. Oh, that was a long story. Right. Did you guys like it? Well, we I liked it. it. I, I wasn't expecting Sid to have the war to scare Rex. That was unexpected. Yeah. But most importantly, we're friends. Yay! Thank, Thank you, Asia Books. ขอบคุณนะคะสําหรับน้องๆในทีมพี่สาม The Dino Squad นะคะเดี๋ยวรอฟังคอมเมนต์สักครู่หนึ่งอ่ะ. All right, so let's hear it from our next judge, Queen Rosemary, please. Yes, well, I like the idea that you recognize the illustrator. Is that correct? I think it was your group. Yes? Yeah. You did recognize the illustrator of the book as well, and I think that's important, because illustrators are as important as our authors are, and I, I appreciated that. I thought you had very nice facial expression. I liked all three of you. Your faces are very shiny and, and, and kind of coming out to us, reaching us. Um, I thought you had a very smooth rhythm, the three of you together. It was very smooth and it was very well synchronized. So I congratulate you. I enjoyed your performance. Thank you. 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 Thank you.